Hi there, my name is Teotles Bando. I'm going to be doing a presentation on determining the optimal feed stage. There are many methods which are used uh, to determine the optimal feed stage, but for this presentation, I'm going to use the constant performance method. So the feed stage is one of the first, is one of the parameters optimized first. So in the constant performance method, the design specs are used to hold the column performance constant. This is what you want to achieve. For example, in the methanol water, I wanted to, to have a methanol recovery of 99.5% on the distillate and also to have um, a methanol purity of uh, 0.99. So those are the design specs. The reflux and perhaps some other variables such as the distillate to feed ratio is varied to maintain the constant performance. The feed stage with the minimum reflux ratio or the lowest NH requirement is selected as the best feed location. And for this presentation, I chose to, use, to choose the feed stage with the, with the lowest NH requirement. Uh, this is so because we want to reduce the operational cost in the life of the distillation column. So this is the graph which are obtained from the simulation environment. So it's stages um, against the liquid mold fraction. So the red line represents the methanol liquid mold fraction per stage, and the green one represents the water liquid mold fraction per stage. And I'll show you why I obtained this graph from uh, of simulator. So if you can, uh, this is the example we've been using in all presentations. So we're just optimizing it as we go. So then if you go to results, then you go to graphs. That's where I obtained um, uh, this. Uh, so this is um, theoretical stages against liquid more fraction. Back to our presentation. What? what the curve tells us. So this plot can tell us a couple of different things. First off, there are no level spots in the diagram. So we don't have an extra stages. So if you have too many, um, if you have a uh, few stages, you find that this, uh, your curves will be flat like this, right? Or flat like this, you know, there'll be no changes. So it will be flat like this, showing that you have too many stages. And also notice the dip in stage 16, the fifth stage. Uh, so I'll go back to my uh, simulator graph. So remember our fifth stage, we put it uh, on stage 16. Here, yes, on stage 16. So there's a dip. And it shows that our feed stage is not optimized. This curve should be smooth, you know, till they cross. Okay. So, so this shows that our feed stage is not optimum as the curve should be smooth with no dips. Hence, we can optimize our distillation column using these two areas, that is the, um, the feed stage location and also the number of uh, theoretical stages. From the plot, it is obvious that our feed stage is a little bit too low, right? We want the, composi the composition to be smooth lines without any humps or bumps in the middle. We will optimize the feed stage 
on this presentation. So back to our methanol water system, the distillate purity and bottoms methanol recovered will be used to hold the simulation at constant performance. An example of the results from a constant performance study will be shown on the simulation environment and stage 26 is shown to be the optimum stage. So as I said, you want the stage with the lowest uh, reboiler duty, then we'll deem that stage as the optimum stage. And I'll go back to the simulation environment and show you how you do it. So the idea is we are going to plot uh, the feed stage location against the reboiler jute, then we'll take, we'll choose the feed stage as to be the one with the minimum reboiler jute or heat load. So if you go to flow sheet, parametric study. So our input will be feed stage location, right? Then the output, as I said, will be the reboiler jute. We press OK. So this is the number of stages from the top stage to the lowest bottom stage, which is that, that one. Then here, um, we'll get the reboiler duty. So usually it starts from the high value then it drops to a certain minimum, then it will start to increase. So we want to choose the minimum. You wait for it to, to solve. There we go. So what I did is, uh, is to copy these figures, take them to Excel. I'll show you how to do it. There we go. So we have uh, the feed stage location, then we have the reboiler duty. So this is the stage make it look a bit pretty this is the reboiler duty So I want the minimum value within these figures. And I'll use Excel to obtain that value. So I'll show you exactly how I did it. So, so we are trying to choose a minimal value among these uh, figures. Enter. So the nine zero point nine zero five nine five five three. That's when we have the minimum uh, boiler load. So which is twenty six stage number twenty six. That's how I got. Going back to our simulation. So this is how I op uh, obtain my optimum stage, which is uh, stage number 26. So what's next? I will optimize the number of theoretical trays. So let's go back to a simulation environment and 
see what will happen if we change our field location to stage number 26. So you come here. We change our feed stage location from 16 to 26, the optimum value, and see what will happen to the care. I will go to operation. So we know now our optimum stage is phase 26. Initially, we just chose the mix stage as the feed stage. This is what you do as you initialize your simulation because you don't have the the figures, right? Okay, we'll change that to close. Yes, we want to save that. So automatically, even your diagram will be updated with the new in stage location. Let's wait and see. Yes. And please note, we need to maintain um, this purity on our display. And that's what we mean by holding your distillation column at a constant uh, performance. So as I told you, the diagram will update also. So it is already updated. It's stretch number 26. Okay. Make it look better. White. And then we'll hit run. Let's see what we have there. Usually it takes some time to, to solve. There we go, you see we maintained uh, our purity of the dislate, also the recovery, if you remember. This is how much amount of methanol we wanted to recover in the distillate. So let's go back and uh, review our theoretical stages versus um, uh, liquid mole fraction and see if it's now smooth, if it's a smooth K. If it is, then which means uh, we have optimized our feed stage location. So we go back to cuts. There we go. You see now it's it's smooth. They are not dips. So now you know it's uh, you have optimized your 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 feed stage location. So as I said on the next presentation, I'm going to optimize the number of theoretical stages. And thank you for watching. For any queries or questions, please contact me on my email address, which is tubasfund at gmail.com. Please like, subscribe, and comment on my YouTube channel. Also, click the link on the description to support my t-shirt sales business ability. And have a good day.